Hello, everyone. It's Creepy and E and Tina. Hello. Welcome to the channel. Hope everybody's having just a wonderful day and that you are in the best of health. Yes, health always being most important. So we did a video. Mm -hmm. It's been a while, though. I think it's been a few months about neighborhoods. So now there are some new up and coming neighborhoods in Santiago. And we still are getting lots of questions when people are looking at rentals because they're gonna be out here for long term or they're relocating and they're looking for places to stay. But this can also help if you're just coming out and you're looking for an Airbnb because Airbnb goes in the neighborhoods and then when it's stated in there in the neighborhoods, they don't even know. So we're gonna give you 10 neighborhoods in Santiago to look for rentals in. Right, you might wanna write them down or just or come back and look at this video again yeah, because don't, <laughs> don't you dare write to me and tell me to tell you the neighborhoods, doggone it. Rewind, play. Rewind, play. <laughs> and practice your Spanish because you're going to need it. <laughs> so, number one, and of course, this is always number one because it's mm -hmm. the number one, meaning first neighborhood that we came to, Los Jardines de Metropolitana. Tana. I love the area. Beautiful area. It's an older area. Yes. Nice and quiet. Quaint. Um, you had a good word for it, quaint. 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 It's, it's a historic, his, historic historic area. There's a park close to where we used to live at. Yes. And it's constantly always being controlled by the police. Even controlled, at, yeah. By by uh, by the police at three o'clock in the morning. We was going to the airport. Oh yeah. We had our suitcases and everything out front of our apartment building. Waiting for the Uber. Waiting for the Uber. And the police just went by and they was kind of looking at us strange in suitcases. <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, it's always good to know um, that you're in a good area. Very, very important. And that's yeah. why we're doing this video. Yes. And I in, in Los Jardines, mm -hmm. there was, within walking distance, literally, tons of restaurants, uh, bars. There was uh, cigar places. There right. was beauty salons. There was ice cream places. Absolutely. I mean, like, I can't even think of something. There was all kinds of places. Like, literally, you go that way, that way, that way, or that way. And you would end up, because he called them his, uh, what you call, recon. Yeah, he would go in recon. one way and come back and be like, oh my gosh, I found like 10 places to you know, go to. I went this way this time. I found five or 10 more. I went that way. you know. And so we would just pick different parts. And I don't even think we saw all of it. And we lived there, what? Almost a year? Almost. And it's close to the shopping center, 15 minutes to Super Mercado oh, Nacional. No, we three months. And yeah. close to our bank, mm -hmm. close to our dentist. Yeah. Um, I went to Scory, got some coffee. Yeah, it was <laughs> far from anything. So that's one place you may want to consider. Also, Cierros de Gurabo. So Gurabo. G-U-R-A-B-O, before you start writing, writing in, <laughs> look at a map and then... <laughs> um, it, that, I would say, is more like upscale living. Mm -hmm. Now, you want to talk about security and policing and that. Literally, over there, if you drive down one of those streets lost, the national police will stop you and ask you what you're looking for and why are you here. Because <laughs> they did our Uber that one time because the guy got lost. Uh, because they're always policing because in Sierros de Gurabo, mm -hmm. there's a lot of private residencies that are kind of back. You may see the gate, and then way back is the private residency. And we're talking not just a regular residency. There's a lot of mansions over there. Big, huge mansions. So don't get lost in that area because the police will definitely stop you. <laughs> <laughs> and they do police around, I would say, in the mornings and afternoons, not so much, but at night you see the red lights going around a lot. Because yeah, no. you know, on top of the cars, not that they're pulling somebody over, they're just you know, police. They just check and see if something look odd, uh, looks something different, <laughs> yeah. and they will investigate quickly. <laughs> yep. So Embrujo is really got some new, newer uh, apartments that they've been selling, meaning they're already built out. And they have been selling them and or renting because uh, some Dominicans have bought them and are using them as investment properties. And that is because it is right near mm -hmm. HOMS Hospital. So a lot of people like the convenience of being right right there because so they're, they're building a lot over there. Right, absolutely. Um, and there's a La Serena, the really big one, mm -hmm. is over there. There's a few restaurants. So it's a nice neighborhood in mm -hmm. Google. It's real nice. And it's always good to, 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 to be close to a restaurant. You can go and go and get something to eat. You don't have to travel that far. Or if and, you want to uh, shop. 
And go shopping yeah. too. And then you can cook at home. Awesome area. Yeah. Awesome. So I, I can I when people write into us about I need to get an Airbnb, I don't know where. I tell a lot of people mm-hmm. in Brujo because it's right there by the highway, so it's easy if they jump into an Uber or a taxi to get to whatever they want to do in Santiago. But it's nice and quiet. Right. And if they want to walk and get some groceries for their Airbnb and then walk back, it's it's convenient. So yeah. That's, and, that's, and that's very important. Yep, that's number three. So number four is Villa Olga. It's a little bit of an older neighborhood also, but they're building new things in the back back of Villa Olga. So that is by the little mall mm-hmm. that's got the Supermercado Nacional anchoring it on one end mm-hmm. and Casa Cuesta on the other end. Mm-hmm. And in between, as we know, because mm-hmm. we go there a lot, right. there's a Santo Domingo Cafe, there's a pizza place, there's banks, plural so if you need atm yeah there's the banks in there um there is uh, if you have kids there's that a place kid's that, store? yeah it mm-hmm. reminds me of kids are us yeah yeah or, or toys are us <laughs> kids are us because it's also so close but yeah that's what it reminds me of they have that in there yeah mundo something something mundo but uh so the there's that over there mm-hmm. but then that is also where they have that little baseball field where we saw the kids play while we were um, having lunch right. because it's lined with all kinds of restaurants and bars and our nail salon everything's over there so there's a lot to do Villa Olga I would say is almost like um, Los Jardines mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. depends on what street you're walking down in that area mm-hmm. you can find all kinds of stuff to do and the area is safe and it's fun and it's upcoming mm-hmm. and it's on a major street because mm-hmm. it's off of Duarte kind of to the side of it so yeah easy to get public transport like just walk over to Duarte or whatever and there's you know taxis mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. all that Absolutely. yes so the next one is a one that really has all of the financial uh, the Dominicans that are in, um, really trying to invest in these neighborhoods to revamp and redo and go green and this and that La Esmeralda La Esmeralda is right behind a big shopping mall uh, I think it's Sorry about that. So anyway, we're talking about La Esmeralda. Mm -hmm. So La Esmeralda is right behind, like I said, a big shopping mall. I think it's like two, maybe three stores high. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. that's Plaza International. Mm -hmm. Plaza Mm -hmm. International has a big food court. So and they deliver as well as you can go in and take to go. But Mm -hmm. um, and there's stores in there. And there's, I think, a couple salons, Mm -hmm. little small Mm -hmm. salons in there. But behind it is this whole area, La Esmeralda. And back there, they're building, I mean, literally, street after street. Remember and we watched that one guy that's sure in real did. estate? That, you, yeah, that YouTuber. Yeah. And I mean, tower after tower after tower. Yeah. They're not so going amazing. this way, but they're going this way yeah. up yeah. in the city. Yeah, so. and they're doing, so saying that they were going green, what they call that is they're trying to kind of preserve the little park area, the little, all the trees, and they're trying to just make it like a green oasis so that you just get, you know, the mm-hmm. calm, the, the, you, you rely on the oxygen. So the oxygenation is mm-hmm. just cleaner when you have all the trees and everything. So they're trying not to disturb and add trees mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. it. So that it's a beautiful walk. It's mm-hmm. kind of a little bit, feels like you're kind of going a little up mm-hmm. when you walk through there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, so that's a neighborhood to consider. If, if I was investing, I would definitely look back there because mm-hmm. that when all that's built out and they really put a lot more stores towards the area of Plaza Internacional mm-hmm. on Duarte, mm-hmm. that's gonna be like booming because who yeah. wouldn't Airbnb over there? I mean, you literally could just walk down and boom, you'll have everything that you need. And I love having, a, I love being in a nice Airbnb where I don't seem like I'm out in the middle of nowhere yes. and it's gonna take me an hour just to get to the first store. I ain't, I'm not that guy, I'm not that kind of guy. Yeah. So you've mm-hmm. also heard us talk about the next neighborhood is Gurabo. Mm-hmm. Now, Sierros de Gurabo is different, but near Gurabo. Gurabo is kind of almost a higher elevation as well. Sierros is too, but um, Gurabo is, if you're looking at, if you're going down the Avenida Febrero, mm-hmm. uh, you see the corner, which the highways on that corner, but you see the Supermercado Nacional. Mm-hmm. And then you see, if you look up like here, you're gonna see all these high up homes and streets. That's Gurabo. Mm-hmm. So since it's higher, it's cooler. It's, it's cooler. Um, and also, um, 
a little pricey, but it's quiet, it's a little, peaceful, some certain parts. and you fall in love with it. Yeah, you it was nice. You will fall in love with it. The breeze up there is like The breeze is, is, is like, oh my God, especially during a hot July and August, oh my goodness. That breeze is just sending you to a whole nother level. Have you noticed though, like, remember that time we were driving through in the Uber? There's a lot more little supermercados up there, little mm -hmm. gomados, and there is a lot of restaurants, <coughs> smaller restaurants going up through there too. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it still gives you the access because you can just come down and then you're right across. You're at Jardines, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or you go the opposite way, you're in Sierros de Gurabo. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it gives you kind of a location to get to everything. Right. That's why I like it. Right, absolutely. I, th I like being centrally located. I don't Me like too. to be in the boonies. <laughs> so, the next one that I hopped on, I have not been here and did not hear about it until I looked at an article. <laughs> and it was, I know I'm going to say this wrong, so I'm going to spell it. P-E-K-I-N. When I look at that, I think of like Peking duck, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's not how it's pronounced, but <laughs> that's it. The, so it basically is by a couple of universities. Mm -hmm. So two universities border it, and on the other side borders it a huge new, um, well, I don't know how new, but it looked new when I was looking at the pictures, mm -hmm. a golf course. It's a um, country club, mm -hmm. a golf country club. Mm -hmm. So it's that is kind of out of the way, but it looked beautiful. The pictures of the the apartments and the, the homes that they were putting over there mm -hmm, it looks mm -hmm. really pretty. It looked like it was maybe just bare land before mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and scattered homes, like which you call scatters back in right back Vegas. in Vegas. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. but now it looks like they're starting to put in developments, like whole developments mm -hmm. where there's apartments and homes all around and gates mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and all that mm -hmm. so that you can be near the golf course so if you guys golf i know i do <laughs> yeah i can go there and golf yeah, maybe. <laughs> might be an idea i can give you the name of the, the country club uh the next one we have been we've passed it a lot of times mm -hmm. which is la loteria mm -hmm. and the reason we've passed it is because it's near square one it's near Kuropo, mm -hmm. where we got the washer dryer, that's right. the, the electronics store. Right. And it's near that university that's called PUCMM. -C -C it's that big Catholic university mm -hmm. because it's right before you get to Price Mart. Price Mart, Price Mart right down the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that neighborhood back there, they've put in quite a few new apartments um although they out here they don't call them apartments they call them villas mm -hmm. but they have put a lot of those up there and you literally walk and you're right there mm -hmm. i mean i think everything's right there oh, you yeah. know what's over oh, there oh yeah absolutely absolutely we first got here we went too far from the hotel that we stayed at we first oh yeah uh-huh that's right, not true. too far from Square One, yeah. and there's a casino over there too. Yes, they right open. next to the hotel. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah. yeah, nice area. Platino, right? Yeah, Platino. Hotel That's Platino. it. That's it. Yeah. I'll never forget that hotel. <laughs> yeah, and right there, there's. I mean, like you just walk, and mm -hmm. all right there, there's like little restaurants, little mm -hmm. bars, little shops. Mm -hmm. You know, motor places. Like there's all down. I would say both sides. Well, mm -hmm. one side's mostly the university, but yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the university, you can pay for a gym membership, and then they give you a pass, and you can actually, because it's guard-gated, and you show them the pass, and they let you go in let through you go and through. go to Absolutely. the gym in there. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's that. And here's another one. This one's more kind of in the heart of Santiago, and that's La Trinitaria. And right there, that's a lot. It used to, I know some of you will say it kind of used to be a little run down, mm -hmm. but they have renovated, knocked down, and they're building up a lot of new apartment buildings. A lot of high rises mm -hmm. are actually going there. Yeah. So it's like high rise after high rise. So here, at least, they won't go much over 12 to 15 floors. S floors. But over there, it's the big high rises. So they Huge. have those. But it's also not far because it, the way it's located, you can be at the monument in a few minutes, or you can be right over where we've taken you to, or actually you've taken them many times, a right. Merident, his dental. Absolutely. So Absolutely. everything seems like it's so spread out, but it's actually really, really close to others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's not far from, you know, it's like right over. Absolutely. And also in that neighborhood, they also have used homes too. Yes. You always see the for sale signs on some of the houses back there. Mm -hmm. They may be a little bit older, but I mean, it's still, it's still a house. Well, yeah, because before all those high rises, and apartment places started buying that land to develop on. Mm -hmm. There was all those existing homes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And also, um, our veterinarian 
has his office over there too. The one that we used to go to and take our pet, Milo. Mm. Yeah, kind of. A, I would say that's more. That's Hardinas though. Yeah, yeah. That's not yeah. Trinidad. That okay, and the last number ten, last one. Drum roll, please. Bum, 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 bum. Urbanization Don Jose Maria. So Don D O N Jose Maria for the English people that are like, how you spell that? <laughs> that is near a smaller Caribe Express because Caribe is a bus company out here. They have the big one right. and then they have the smaller expresses that they stop at. It's near a Caribe Express, it's near a, one of the Corazon outlets if you need to get your water turned on mm -hmm. it's near a big catholic school mm -hmm. but it is way north so if you're talking you're on avenida febrero and jardinas is over here and gurabo is here you got to go up gurabo and then you got to go this way to get to this but I, I it's still not so far that you can't get mm -hmm. to it mm -hmm. but it is going to be about two or three miles out of the way mm -hmm. of so the neighborhoods that we're talking to. So if you want to be set away, you got a car or whatever, you know, you don't mind being that, you know, set away from everyone. Um, that will be the outskirts of Don Jose Maria. And that they're starting Teddy Construction, T-E-D-D-Y. So they have a website and everything you can go and look at and they have Instagram and all that. And they show all their new construction projects. They mm -hmm. have a huge project going on right now. Those places are not even fully built yet. And they have about, I think it's like four or six huge uh, villas, apartments, I'm gonna call them apartment, apartment mm -hmm. homes that are going up over there. And they're also doing kind of like master communities where there's homes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. same area, mm -hmm. guard gated and everything. So you can do apartment or home living there in that neighborhood. And that gives you a choice. Mm -hmm. You know, but the one thing about it, once you find a place you're really looking for in the area you're looking for, yeah. there's no place like home. You want to go to bed at night, not have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. Know that there's somebody up watching over you. You got a <laughs> gate, and you just, and, you, and it just you know, and, and and some of these areas that we just gave you, um, nice, quiet. You don't hear a lot of motorcycles. It's just you get what you pay for, and there's certain, like I said, a lot of new areas, like Tina said, that are up and coming. Right. And you guys are gonna love it. Just got to do some research. Mm -hmm. We gave you the different areas so you don't, you don't be stuck in the area that you hate for the rest of your life. Yeah, and I'll tell you, follow some of the construction companies because it's not... So in the United States, when they're building projects, it's not the construction company that is heading and selling the project. Here it is in some cases, instances. So what I started to do when we mm -hmm. first started looking, because we thought we might buy, mm -hmm. I found the name of one construction company, which uh, was Teddy, because it was near mm -hmm. our apartment, remember, right. in um, Los Sardinas, because their offices are right there. Right there. So followed their Instagram, and if you pay attention to the little um, suggestions that it'll give you underneath, it'll start listing all the other construction companies here in the DR. And you can hit some of them and they build all over. So you just look at the one that maybe is uh, doing construction in the area you're interested in. Say you're interested in Santo Domingo, say you're interested in the North, say you're interested in here or there. You can do that and you can start looking at projects, potential projects, projects they've done that they have photos of. I'm telling you, Instagram is life. Like out here, it is. It's how a lot of people do all of their free mm -hmm. advertising and getting their name and their projects out there. As well, we will have a link under this video to Kirk Capron's real estate agency. So he also has kind of a thumb or a pulse on what new and upcoming through the DR as well as existing properties so that he can also assist if you're looking at renting or buying right. or investing. He has all of it. Right. And he also speaks English and so does his wife. Yeah. He's from the U.S. His wife so, is Dominican, but he's from the U.S. Yeah. So that's a plus. Mm -hmm. That is a plus when you can get hooked up with a realtor that can speak the same language as you yeah. and they'll hook you up and you tell them, just give them such, such an area that you think you'll be interested in mm -hmm. and just go for it. Now, he also, like I said, he can find you a rental or he can find you a, something that you might want to buy. But always first look at the neighborhoods 
And like I always say, before you commit, come to the neighborhood. Get an Airbnb in the neighborhood. Right. Walk around during the day. And when this curfew's over, walk around in the evening. Right. Because you want to see what's the noise level, what's the traffic level, what are the people like over there. Because you don't want to get stuck because you've signed a lease now. Yes. In an area that in the morning a rooster is going crazy or at (laughs) night they are speeding through right and you here it's so i can't even explain it's like well that's why i say you've got to get out here because i you could live so close to a main traffic area during the day but it's still so quiet where you live right because like where we live we do you guys have heard videos that we've done outside and where you've been on the roof Mm -hmm. you can hear practically nothing unless there's a motorcycle literally delivering something to our front and then you hear the of them going by but in that at the night in the afternoon in the evening when people are off their jobs and home it is like crickets ghost town but you're so (laughs) close to everything that you think i i'm like was there a bomb like where'd everybody go (laughs) it's it's nothing like in the U.S. Like, I and maybe it's because I come from Vegas, you mm-hmm. know, and then here. Mm-hmm. But like Vegas, if if the strip was noisy, then the strip's noisy all the time. The, the streets right. are noisy; they're busy all the time. It's like you don't ever get a break in here. People really they work hard during the day. As, mm-hmm. as I'm speaking in Santiago, but mm-hmm. they work hard during the day, and then they come home and they unwind. And then later in the evening, they may meet with friends or whatever. And, you know, on the weekends, you might hear a little noise partying and whatever on Saturday and Sunday. But that's it. Like, for the most part, they've worked hard, they rest, Mm -hmm. and they enjoy family time, and it's nice and quiet. So that's why I like it. And that's when you know you got your money's worth. And you're in the right neighborhood. And you're in the right neighborhood. Because if you're not, I'm telling you, this video right here is very important. Because if you're not, you're going to be miserable. And you're going to sign that lease. Now you got to sit there and you got to deal with it. Yeah. And, um... Ain't no worse than being stuck in a place and you don't pay your money that you can't get out of a contract. You yes. got to go through a lot of changes. But look for yourself because you could listen to YouTubers like us and other people all day long tell you what's so great, but it's great for them. So what might be great for me might not be great for you. And what might be great for you may not be great for me. So come check it out. Always go to where you're thinking about investing because that's an investment whether you rent or you not you better believe it it's you an better investment. believe it a vacation can come and go and it's okay it's over with and you can just choose better later right but something like that you're stuck i hate to say it and always get a second opinion okay because <laughs> a second opinion is everything yes because if you do you come out here and you prefer to buy uh and not rent now when you first do your walkthrough you got to check everything yeah when that's, I say everything, that's another video. everything, <laughs> yeah, woo wee. <laughs> but yeah, so check out the neighborhoods. I don't want anybody saying I went to that neighborhood because Tina told me check out the neighborhood. Use Google Maps. Look, see what's around and what would be best for you. Because you, you can just really go on Google Maps, yes, pull it right up. You can look at the area, you can look at the apartment, you can see what's actually Businesses, going on. Businesses, everything, everything. Yeah, and that's the best way to be. Yep. Then you will not be going into an area that's blind, blindfolded. Yes. Your eyes will be wide open, and you can get the big picture, and you can make it the best choice you can make in the foreign country. There you Dominican go. Dominican Republic. That right there. <laughs> so, in the meantime, between your time, always remember, life is to be enjoyed. Yes, make sure to hit subscription. Thank you to all of our new subscribers. You're really getting up there, and it couldn't be without you guys. So thank you. That is the fastest and easiest way to patron the channel, besides to hit that like and hit notifications so that you can be notified when this and other gems that we drop. Drop like it's hot. (laughs) Come live. (laughs) And as always, information will be right underneath the video on how to contact us and how to patron the channel and show a little love. (laughs) So until the next video, peace.